Hey there guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can create a webhook and test it on your server so that you can keep the messages or the files sent by the user to your database or anywhere if you want to keep it. Let's get started. So right now, let me send a message on this number directly from my WhatsApp. So right now, as you can see, the message has been sent and here I have received it so you can also receive this messages directly onto your server so for that we have to add the webhook so for adding it we'll be moving right in here webhooks and then add webhook so right here you can add your url and the status can be enable disable defective whatever you want but right now we'll be adding it as enable so before adding the url right here we have to create one so for that so for that we'll be using ngrok so ngrok directly here http 8000 so the port 8000 is where my server is running and this is the url but we have to create an endpoint where we will be able to receive this messages so let's write some code for that the pycharm right in the main dot pi i'll be creating an api server for this so i'll be using fast api and uvcon so you can add them into your project or you can use whichever api service you will be using so import fast api import fast api and then i'll be creating a variable app and first api will be the class so now from app i will be requesting a post request and the endpoint will be wati webhook right here and i'll create a function where i'll be fetching all the details from there the def it will be my book and request type will be dictionary so now let's print first what we are getting so in the request we'll be getting some kind of dictionary so let's see and run what happens so right now i'll be cubicon main app dash dash reload so this will start my application server and now i will copy this and paste it right inside this section and slash party underscore webhook and save it so now it has been saved and it is enabled so once i message here and i get it from the user it will show me right in the terminal so as you can see i have received the message from user and we are getting this all data so let's grab all the data which we need right now so we're using f string for this particular purpose and id will be fetching id send the request id then oops just like this and we want the message what user sent text request and there it is also what is the sender name and what is the whatsapp id which is the number of the user phone number of the user let's keep it as phone number request and also the sender name
so i'll save it and now when i message it will show me this all data let's see see i have received the session id the message what user sent the phone number and the name of the user so this way you can customize it and use it in your own way and create a whole new service for user thanks for watching see ya